the bruiser waits. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. I am so excited to see Pete Dunne make it to this level because this guy is gonna be a star, a major star. An unmatched mean streak when it comes to WWE superstars. Pete Dunne knows so many ways to hurt you and he enjoys each and every one of them. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. Well, Pete Dunne has earned the right to have a reputation that precedes him as one of the most feared superstars in all of WWE. The icy stare of Pete Dunne is unsettling because you know he's about to hit you in the mouth. from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 211 pounds, Sam Grant Webb. One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. Singles action okay. is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. I can tell you that. Hey, I guess you never know. Drop kick! Oh! Oh, man! What a strike! Oh! I'd say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunne also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Vertical suplex! Nice. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country 
on a big show like Monday Night Raw? That's because Dunn oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, oh, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunne, emerged as the next can't-miss superstar. Ha <laughs> ha, ah, ah, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. I'd agree with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. I'll tell you one person who definitely knew who Pete Dunne was after coming out, and that's William Regal. Regal was absolutely irate after Dunne launched a pre-match attack on his second round opponent. What a strike, right on the mark. Dunn is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiserweight. And Dunn quickly kicks out. Not yet. Bringing back up Pete Dunn's penchant for intimidation, I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance, but his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of Dunn's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition were excited for the opportunity and happy to... He might have it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Dodges a bullet there. I'd say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunne also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Alludes that one. controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Down to the floor. feet he's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here time certainly not on his side michael oh he turns it around bringing it back into the ring tough situation to be in right here yeah you have to think this is not going to end well that's what you call a bad landing. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Gonna take more than that. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. I'm not sure he has much left. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Three. Back now inside the ring. Bo 
both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Incoming! He's not going to like this. He can't withstand one bit more. And there's his speed paying off. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. The cover. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Oh, nasty impact. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. That's the shoulders on the mat. One. Two, three. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Oh, I can't believe this. Some pretty good give and take in this match as these highlights show. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening bell. Can't complain about the effort, Here is technical your winner, proficiency, Pete or result. Dunne. Tremendous showing tonight for Pete Dunne. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.